and welcome to the very first episode of In The Loop. I'm Nathan. And I'm Zoph. And about now you might be wondering, what is In The Loop? Good question. In The Loop is a lifestyle show about all of the things to see and do in Wollongong and on the South Coast. It's a peek behind the curtain at the innovative businesses and intriguing people that call this region home. We'll even be helping you look after your health and well-being. And we'll be turning a spotlight on some of the region's bright minds. The full-length show comes out monthly and is just the right length to sit back and watch on YouTube on your TV. And we'll also be releasing each individual segment a few days after the launch of the full-length show so that you can easily share the segments you love through your social media. So let's get on with the show. First up this month, we're off to check out what's been happening in the city. This past October long weekend, the city was taken over by the first annual Blender Festival. The music, arts and tech extravaganza staged 16 different events over the weekend and kicked off with a massive street party. We sent Nathan to check it out. This segment is made possible by Wollongong Central. Discover the city. We're at the opening night street party for the first ever Blender Festival. The mall and Globe Lane are packed. We have skateboarders, graffiti art, mass participation gaming, digital projections, and of course, the best quality street food that Wollongong has to offer. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Jeremy from Destination Wollongong. Now Jeremy, this is obviously something we haven't seen before in Wollongong. Could you tell us about the Blender Festival and what it is? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a, what we're looking for is a fusion between music, the arts, uh, some extreme sports yeah. uh, and technology as well. So fusing all those together to create a festival that, that's a broad ranging, um, also quite cutting edge um, and also interactive. You know, we want people trying things, um, buying things, sampling product um, and really going to the edge of what their experiences are. When do you ever get to see something as cool as this in Wollongong? I mean, come on. Now we're in Globe Lane and this is really cool. It's a mass participation game where if you're on your phone, you can all play at the same time and the person with the most points wins. It's pretty awesome and I think I love it. Kira, what are you doing right now? I'm playing the game, it's a race, I think. Yeah. I think you're supposed to avoid the blocks or you're supposed to hit the blocks. I haven't quite figured that part out. So you're doing both just in case? Yes, exactly. Don't and hit you... the bombs. I figured out you shouldn't hit the bombs. Well, I think, I think we just have to try and get the pucks over to the other side and I think I'm on the left, but I have no idea. <laughs> so you have a colour, right? You're dark blue. No, I'm dark blue. I'm, I'm on that side. Right, okay. So you've right, got sorry. 30 points. I think you're winning. Well, our team, 40 points. Our team is winning. In other news, also as part of Blender, Yours and Owls held their epic fifth birthday party, the Yours and Owls Weekender. Crowds packed Stewart Park over three huge days to see an amazing lineup of national and international acts, including local singer-songwriter Beck Sandridge. Beck recently won the Triple J Unearthed competition to nab a slot at the festival. We caught up with Beck after her set to ask her about what it means to play in front of a huge hometown crowd. It's pretty cool. I, I think I've only ever played one festival in Wollongong, uh, Viva La Gong, and um, this one is great because it brings bands from all over the place uh, together. And um, yeah, I know the band and I were really excited. We've been practicing and then, um, yeah, just excited for it for a bunch of weeks. So it's cool. And finally, the streets and laneways of Wollongong just got a whole lot more good looking after the return of the Wonder Walls Festival to the city as a part of Blender. This year's festival saw renowned artists from around Australia and as far away as Spain and Amsterdam take part in the festival. If you want to discover some of the city's newest street art, go to wonderwallsfestival.com to find a handy downloadable map. There was just so much to see and do at Blender. Zoph, did you go to any of the events? I didn't go to Blender, but I did volunteer at yours and ours festival picking up some rubbish. Oh, sounds like good clean fun. <laughs> our first feature story this month is our adventure and play segment. I was lucky enough to recently get the chance to zip around some of the region's incredible coastline with Segway Tours South Coast. Let's check it out. 
today we're at Killalea State Park to try something that I've always wanted to do, riding a Segway. But we're not just riding these on a path, we're taking these babies off-road and onto the beach with Segway Tours South Coast. It's an absolutely glorious day down here and it looks like so much fun. Can't wait to get started. I'm here with David today from Segway Tours South Coast. Hi David. Hi Zoe. Can you tell me a little bit about the Segway Tours? Sure. Um, Segway Tours South Coast, naturally we operate on the South Coast and we do Segway Tours around some pretty remarkable areas like Killaloo State Park where we are today. And not only do we do tours but um, we actually uh, do corporate um, activities as well with the Segways mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, which are great for uh, conferences and uh, other, other, other companies. And so the Segways, are they hard to ride? Uh, look, you, 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 I should be asking you, you've had a little <laughs> go. They're pretty easy. Um, we give proper instruction and um, everyone has uh, good practice and learns along the way. So the progressive tours and we run small groups so everyone gets a lot of attention and, and, uh, and uh, really enjoys themselves um, in, a, in a very unique way. Absolutely. So where are we riding today? So we're at Killerley State Park and we're on the northern end of the park um, overlooking beautiful the farm. Uh, beach out the back there and uh, Killalee Lagoon. The beach tours are the only ones in New South Wales and we uh, actually take the segways down on the beach. This has actually been the best day. It's so much fun riding one of these things. Way easier than I thought it would be. Look, I can even go backwards. It's really, really great. And if you want to have a turn as well, jump online to segwaytourssouthcoast.com.au. That looked really fun. It was amazing. I had the best day. If you want to give it a go, make sure you keep an eye out on the In The Loop Facebook page because this month we'll be giving away a gift voucher for two people to enjoy the farm tour with Segway Tours South Coast. Now we move on to People of Wollongong. It's our segment about some of the intriguing Wollongong residents you may not know about. This month, In The Loop sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Stephen Dupont. Stephen is a photographer, artist and documentarian who has travelled the world for the last 20 years, going to some of the most intense war and disaster zones and coming back with bold and stark images that have helped share the stories of people that are often forgotten. We caught up with Stephen at Blender's Mindshift event to talk to him about his work and what he loves about living in the Illawarra. This segment is made possible by Illawarra Credit Union, your experts in everything banking. Well, I'm a photographer um, and sometime filmmaker, um, an artist, I'm many things. Well, I went travelling when I was about 18. I left school um, and hit the road. I was a, you know, an 18 year old and, and my backpack and you know, what a lot of kids do, I guess, at that time. So while I was travelling, I discovered photography. Um, I met some interesting photographers along the road and. I had a camera and I took a lot of photographs and I really felt a connection with photography. I felt a connection with traveling and seeing the world and somehow then um, documenting um, what I was seeing through, through my photographs. It's about learning for me. It's about experiencing the world we live in and being a part of some of these great historical moments that I've been privileged to, to be a part of.
Well, it, it can be amazing and it can be daunting and, 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 and tragic and, and, and many things. I mean, in the case of the Taliban burning, I mean, I, I was really torn uh, personally um, and professionally torn to release the footage or not. I, I, had to, I had to ask myself, do I really want to go down that road? I mean, in the end, I chose the right road because I had a responsibility to tell the world what was going on. I had a responsibility because I had documented this. What transpired was out of my control because what happened was it went on the internet and it was a free-for-all and it was like a wildfire and basically the whole world took it and used it and blogged it and whatever, you know, every network in America ran the story on their morning news channel. So it, it created this, this huge story because of the internet. It shook the boots of central command in America. It made them, it changed US military policy. That's a great thing. So, you know, that's an example that my photographs actually made a difference. I, you know, can stand by and say, well, you know, can be pretty proud that these pictures changed policy forever. That's not bad. My family and I, we moved down here about five years ago. We moved from Bondi Beach. I was living there with them and my daughter was three at the time and I just got sick of Sydney and, and I got sick of how expensive it was. Um, I didn't want my daughter to grow up in the city that I felt was losing a bit of its soul. You know, I, I was searching for something quieter and, um, you know, I found it here. Um, you kind of get used to things down here, you know. I like the slowness. I like the, I mean, I'm a mad surfer. So to be down here where there's great beaches to choose from to, to ride waves, that's a big plus for me. I mean, the surfing really helps with, you know, I mean, it's part meditation, it's part physical exercise, it's, um, it's a wonderful release. I've come full circle because although I didn't grow up in the Illawarra, I spent a lot of my childhood here surfing. So I learned to surf between Sandon Point and Stanwell Park. So it was, yeah, it's kind of interesting to come back here. I mean, I've lived in London, Paris, and of course I travel a lot, so having that base, having this wonderful, you know, incredible environment that we live in down here, I mean, I love it. If you want to delve deeper into Stephen's work, we'll be releasing an extended interview online shortly. And if you think you know someone we should all know about, we want to hear from you. We are launching a search for the people of Wollongong. For more details, keep an eye on our Facebook page. What's next? Food. Food? That's right. Our next segment is health and wellbeing, and this month it is all about growing, making, and eating local and healthy produce. Let's take a look. This segment is made possible by People Care. Health cover full of mwah. We've all heard it before, but it's true. Eating well is really good for you. When you eat organic, local, non-processed foods, you will look and feel better. Your immune system will be tougher and you reduce your chances of getting cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Today, I'm at Buena Vista Farm in Gerringong. Buena Vista has been in the same family since 1859 and until 15 years ago was still a dairy farm. These days, the farm produces an incredible array of fresh food and whole foods. Buena Vista's owners, Fiona and Adam, have kindly offered to show us around, so let's go check it out. So at Buena Vista Farm, we're really interested in connecting people with their sources of food, like really actually making real connections. And what we do is people come onto the farm and do classes and do lunches and workshops, etc., and uh, come and see how it's grown. and. Uh, actually get a real sense of a small mixed farm. Growing your own food, you, you have access to the most mineral rich and vitamin rich foods, but it's really important, I think, to particularly for younger kids to, to be able to sort of hold it and see it. And they're, 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 then they're really connected to it rather than just going and getting it 
packed in plastic from the supermarket. So what kind of workshops do you offer here? Um, yeah, we offer a variety. Uh, our, probably our main workshop that we run is From Scratch, where you come and you learn how to make uh, sourdough and yogurt and butter and um, a, quite a variety of things in one whole day. Um, but we run workshops on fermentation, we run workshops uh, on um, simple cheese making, home dairy. So yeah, a bit of a variety, it keeps it interesting for us. So the first thing we're going to make today, we're going to make some ricotta. We're going to heat up milk. We're going to add vinegar to it. This is a really easy recipe. Just give it a bit of a stir, just as we're just to keep the milk moving. You don't want it yeah. to stick on the bottom. And then with a thermometer, you're going to take the temperature of the milk and you're, you're taking it up to 95 degrees. So you're, you're at temperature and what you're going to do now, if you take a quarter of a cup of um, vinegar sure. and then I want you to pour it just like that over okay. the top with your spoon, mm -hmm. just do a couple of figure of eights. We're going to make uh, a flatbread that is a recipe that you can remember really, really easily because it's made uh, with one part yogurt, two parts self-raising flour. That's it. And then maybe a sprinkle of salt. And that's all that's in this. That's all, really simple. Yeah, it's so simple. That's all that's in this flatbread. spot on. It's so good. It's fresh. You, just, you can tell that it comes straight from the garden. It's incredible. How good was that flatbread and ricotta? It was delicious and I even got to bring some home. Buena Vista Farm are kindly giving away a voucher for a from scratch cooking class. It's valued at $195 for any class in 2016. To be in with a chance to win, leave a comment below on YouTube telling us about your favourite healthy place to eat in Wollongong. And now we shift back to Blender and Mindshift for our Bright Minds segment. Mindshift was held in the Regent Theatre and hosted a fascinating forum designed to challenge perceptions and the obvious in a Q&A setting. The event covered a range of topics, from the future of music to the benefits and risk of tech becoming a part of us. We sent the In The Loop crew to hang out and chat with some of the key speakers. This is what they brought back. Mindshift is probably the, the, the link that is slightly different to the rest of Blender Festival. Mindshift is where we actually discuss the topic, so it just raises up that one more level where we actually have people talking about the experience you're having and how those experiences are going to change. How is music going to evolve? How is technology evolving and going to change our society? How is art being influenced? It's just a really interesting um, look at the way technology is really part of our lives every single day. Um, and how do we use that in terms of music, art, um, community um, to make it work for us. At Mindshift we have a whole lot of um, interesting and exciting people that are speaking today and what I love about all of them is that they all bring a different point of view. They're all extremely knowledgeable in their one field. A lot of the music we listen to today is based on um, 12 notes in an octave scale. But as composers, we're interested in sort of working with things that exist between the gaps of those notes um, in order to make music that hasn't been made before, to create sounds that haven't been explored yet. I'm the territory manager for RDO, a music streaming service. So I run that service here in Australia and New Zealand. Wild Rumpus is a Wollongong based social enterprise and we are about encouraging people to play and inspiring play for a better planet. And I currently lead a project called Peta Jakarta or Map Jakarta. Um, and that project is all about crowdsourcing flood information in real time using Twitter. And when you start throwing people like that together and blending them together, it's amazing what comes out of it. In a forum like this, when you have opportunity for people to speak and discuss and answer questions openly, it creates a far broader understanding for the people that are able to access that conversation. It's the interdisciplinary nature um, of it that's so important to bring people together to foster the creation of new ideas. It's saying that these are issues that are relevant to us, this is for us, this isn't just for other people in a big city somewhere, that Wollongong is a city where everything happens. And certainly there's a phase of disruption happening here in the Illawarra right now, you're transforming economy from a resource economy and an industrial economy and trying to come up with what's the next evolution for this area. And I think like it's really important to acknowledge that the seeds are already in play. And then on top of that, you have 
the university and you have a really receptive council and governing bodies here that are kind of going like, hey, we do need to come up with something. We need to actually take a bit of risk. We can have groundbreaking um, discussions and forums happening here. We can have great minds coming together and talking and, and the community responding and asking questions. It's great to have people who are curious and interested to, to find out what, what's going on that they may not have already known about. It's been an amazing um, day of hearing some incredible minds. Our last segment this month is Innovative Business. In the Loop sat down with Solera Labs co-founder Michael Lawler to chat about what they do and what it is like to run a national company from a regional base. This segment is made possible by Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. I'm Michael Lawler, I'm the CEO at Solera Labs. I've been writing computer software since I was you know, six years old or whatever. I've got a, um, a degree and a PhD in computer science from Wollongong University. After my PhD, I worked at the University of Wollongong for Nortel Networks. They had a, an R&D lab, and at the end of the dot-com bust, we exited out of um, Nortel Networks, and I started a, a software company with a, a guy I was working with, Jason Harris. We started off doing professional services and um, subcontracting work for other larger players, established players. We've got a relatively sort of senior, top-heavy team. We've got a lot of um, you know smart uh, guys and girls, and most of those you know have come out of the Wollongong University. So there's a great um, ICT department there, computer science. I think Wollongong does have a good capability in the uh, you know in the sphere of ICT and that's worked out really well for us. We've got a product called Data Ignition. It's a, a platform for reaching into the ERP systems, large information systems of, of big companies, and we look at record level problems, trying to find mistakes. Sometimes the mistakes will be uh, about money, uh, we want to stop those mistakes. Sometimes it's about effort and rework, and sometimes it's governance, risk and compliance issues. But regardless of that, our software is about finding these mistakes as quickly as possible and with the minimum amount of manual effort for the, for the company involved. We've got companies like Coca-Cola, Blue Scope here in Wollongong, One Steel, uh, some federal government down in Canberra and state government as well in New South Wales. So yeah, that's sort of you know, tier one enterprise, um, large government organisation sort of companies and we're also looking at that now overseas in the, in the UK and in Asia. We're a tiny company here in Wollongong servicing you know, all of Australia just out of the Wollongong office. And so what we do as part of our marketing strategy is we offer to do uh, no cost proof of concept analyses for these large companies. We say, hey, let's sign NDAs, we'll, we'll analyze your data, a year of your data and come back and show you all this value, where the mistakes are, how to stop them. And we're trying to sell a continuous monitoring solution that, you know, that runs every day. So we do that uh, you know, and that's worked out to be really successful for us. It's a way for us to engage with these really big companies. We do a lot of our work remotely, the actual delivery um, is remote, so it doesn't matter where we are, we can work anywhere, Wollongong's a great place, um, I, grew, I was born here, I grew up here, we're quite happy to keep our headquarters here and um, leveraging through our partner relationships to, you know, to build our customer base, we'll continue to, to service that from Wollongong. Being located here, our employees are happy, they're more likely to hang around, we've got great retention rates. And so, you know, compared to, to working in a metro area where there's going to be more travel, um, you know, I think Wollongong's just a great place to have a, a company headquarters. That's our show for this month. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. A massive thank you to everyone involved with the Blender Festival, Segway Tours South Coast, Stephen Dupont, Buena Vista Farm, Mindshift and Solera Labs for helping us kick off our first episode in style. And a huge shout out to all of the partners that make the show possible. Make sure you watch the credits and show them some love. We couldn't make this show without them. If you want to know more about any of this month's stories, you can find the links in the show notes below. We'll see you next time on In The Loop. In The Loop thanks our media partners, Illawarra Mercury and I-98. In The Loop is made possible by People Care, health cover full of mwah, Illawarra Credit Union, your experts in everything banking. Wollongong Central, discover the city. Advantage Wollongong, a superior business location. University of Wollongong, this is Australia's top rated university. Destination Wollongong, visit wollongong.com.au. 
Internetrix, explorers of all things web and digital.